we'll deal with the demo that is of uh, topology optimization. As you could see, this is a part of SolidWorks Simulation Professional and uh, how actually this topology optimization or topology analysis is gonna help to uh, get the optimized component. As you could see here, these are the few uh, models which are not taken into this particular case study and with respect to that the optimized model so with respect to weight reduction 50% and the 70% weight reduction with respect to stiffness here we're going to consider the goals and constraints what are the main goals to deal with this particular topology analysis is the weight that should be particularly lightweight and must be strong enough and meet the payload constraints what are the constraints we have given that should be sustained and the model should be fully functional and it should pass the performance tests and it should give the best stiffness to weight ratio and anyway it should minimize the mass the flow pattern will be like this as we normally deal with and design and validation right with respect to simulation but if we consider the optimization it gonna deal with innovation then design and then validation but here we are not considering validation we directly go for configuration sorry confirmation if we consider the policy analysis and the constraints these are the few constraints which we gonna use during optimization study that is displacement constraints will be there mass constraints as well as the frequency constraints and factor of safety slash stress constraints so i'll take this particular case study right now i'll deal with the chair one so to minimize the mass with respect to displacement and the stress constraints so once we deal with this particular study we're gonna get the 90 percent or 50 percent uh, lighter with respect to mass constraints which we here and the uh, strength will be better one that is strong enough to withstand what are the loads on that so this is the brief idea about the things for and all we do in this case study we'll consider this particular chair so as you could see this is a simple <coughs> design so uh, I'll deal with topology analysis on this particular study. So let me just switch to the simulation tab here. The weight of the person which I have added, the load which I have given is fixed one, so that is grounded one. So these are the fixtures which I have defined here. And then for the loading purpose, for the weight of the person is 2000, the same way I have defined the multiple studies. So the second study is with respect to uh, back support, as you could see. And then this is the arm support of minus 400 Newton, back support of 500 Newton and the weight approximately 2000 Newton. So these are the loading conditions of but in this particular case study. Now uh, I need to run these all the studies. I'm gonna do that. Before that, I'll just define the topology study. So I'll activate the topology study. And here I'll copy the previous study. For example, material as well as the fixtures and the load. We'll copy these, okay, and paste it here. Material loader fixture should be here and my load should be here. Only one load is there and the respective loads I'll copy from the studies. Copy and paste. And this makes uh, SOLIDWORKS simulation better than other software so that you can directly copy each and every thing from the previous studies and can directly work on it instead of wasting time over there. So once you define each and everything, you do can add your multiple load cases or you can define the combined load cases like 
multiple of these two dice of this much if we apply how much happens and all so these kind of things you can do with this particular uh, multiple load cases let me just show you the three here or like review how it works so you could define the dif uh, different uh, load cases the first load case i'll define it to uh, 2000 newton So in second load case, I'll define it as 500 Newton, and in the third case, I'll define it as minus 400. And even you could add the combination loads and all with respect to your loading conditions. Right now, I'll keep it up like this. And then once I define it, I need to define the goal. So my simple goal is to minimize the weight. Otherwise, you can directly go ahead with the best stiffness as we are dealing with the support and all. I need the stiffness also, so deal with this one best stiffness to weight ratio. That's better one here. I'll just select mass reaction, should be uh, an average of 75%. And the current mass is this much it shows, and the final mass will be 59 on an average 60 pH. So, once you define your boundary conditions, I need to deal with. Uh, manufacturing controls so i'll define the uh, symmetry plane so with respect to that should remove the material so i'll select the right plane for this one as it is lying exactly at the symmetry this is my half of symmetry so this is all so you do can define all the things so how the material should be removed and where should be the material needed you can just uh, specify the d mold as well as the add preserved regions where you want you should not like where you don't want to remove the material and all you can define it but right now this is fine enough mesh it respect to your constraints i'll mesh it with respect to draft quality here and i'll use the standard and with respect to millimeters i'll define my parameter as 25 mm and i'll run the study now so finally uh, you'll get the results. You do can edit the definition of the mass material. So material mass which is given here. You can set it up. Lightweight like this. How much lighter you want. And the calculated weight 83. You can set it up like this. To check which is the better one for you. These all are the things which should be kept. These are must. And these are okay to remove like this, depending upon your requirement. You can okay. So let's say key okay to remove. I'll just come here and I'll just place it here up to this. So these are the places which you can keep it up, right? So next, you can use a few extra things here. So this is smoothing. If you want coarse one, it would be like this. It will look like this. And if you want to post results, you can set the smoothing option to uh, <coughs> the topmost one. It will be like this. If you want to specify the color, you can do it. And let me just select green one like this. Okay. And this is how you can modify as your requirement. If you want to save it, then you can do that. You can import this particular model as a part or as a configuration, and you can define the location where you want exactly. So I'll define the location, and there are a few more advanced options. Only the graphic body you need, or only the solid body you need. It will ask. I'll select the solid body. And this would be the final model. Uh, you can modify this one as I already told by using the features, adding material and removing material, and applying some of the extra features. This is the uh, second case study which I'm gonna deal with. So, in the topology analysis, this is the linkage. Here, uh, I have given the different load conditions one is full load, and second one is the rest load. And side loads and I have combined these all the loads to combined loads as you could see all the loads has been added as well as the 
uh, a fixture and the material so with respect to these studies I'm gonna create a topology analysis so I'll activate the study topology and here um, I'll just call all the constraints that is material picture and the loads I'll copy these all and with respect to the material I'll paste the material order same thing for fixtures as well as the loading condition now I need to define the uh, goals and constraints which I need to work on so here I will consider minimize the mass so in this particular case first I'll define the resultant displacement so here I'll specify as 1.3 percent of the whatever the value it has before and then even I just wanted to reduce the mass the mass reduction should be exactly 90 percent for me right now so these are the constraints I'm, I'm gonna define here and once that is done I'll define the symmetry here with respect to the symmetry condition it should remove the material so right lane would be better for me for the selection purpose and even you could select the <coughs> preserved regions as like this whichever the region you want to withstand that should not be there from that particular phase or region the material should not be removed and all you can specify like this so that region will be preserved and now I want to specify the demold direction how it should demold so I'll select this particular edge for demolding I'll define it once you define everything you just need to run the study once you run it you get the results so this is the results with respect to the same boundary condition which I have given with respect to <laughs> minimize the mass now the second condition is I'll select all the combined load topologies like this and I need the uh, best stiffness to waste ratio for that <clears throat> I'll define only the mass reduction of 50%. So with respect to that, what have the results? And this is the result. You could save this particular model as a part by just selecting export smooth mesh and new part here in the advanced option you can select solid body or the surface in the graphics body as needed. You define the location where exactly it should be set and save exactly over there so this is how this gonna work 